Hi guys, this is Inflectra. Alexi speaking. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, deal with VPF date picker and calendar control. You see them on the screen. So let's start. Uh, we have new piece creating new test. For those of you who are familiar with Rupees 5, this is a beta version of Rupees 6. And uh, I think you will soon see the similar interface. Okay, um, create a new test. Uh, we have the P uh, date picker and calen calendar. It's an empty application, uh, an empty test. Uh, let me show you this application. It's short demo application. So here is it. Now let me try to just record some uh, interactions with this application to show how it's recorded out of the box. I'm choosing the date picker. Well, first, let first suppose I want to change this calendar value to something like uh, 1995. Uh, 1995. So I'm switching to decade view selecting year, uh, let month to be October and date to be like 12. Okay, so I've selected something and let me, so I have a picker control, a date picker control, which is similar. So let me use it also. Show the pop-up, uh, change year to something again different like let it be 10 uh, let months to be june and date to be 18 for example and so that's that was my recording let me finish so here it is uh, you see the test is recorded however uh, it has many interactions while my my goal is to just select a date and uh, it has many objects involved so if i go to object tree i may see how many objects were recognized during this recording so it was like on atomic level and the most important uh, difficulty here is it's not clear how to make such a test uh, to be data driven. So suppose I have a, an array of test data, I have many dates and I need to select them one by one. So with this approach, it's probably impossible to make it effectively. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove all these objects from the tree, remove all these steps. This is wrong way, I'm not going to use it and open browser and google for something uh, i'm googling for github rupees power pack uh, rupees power pack not uh, here it is here in the list and power pack contains many utility things and one of them is vpf date picker here we have an example just demonstrating a number of functions and uh, uh, containing this demo application that we have here and the useful thing here is uh, not, these functions are stored in the user.js file i may just open it uh, so I may just copy contents of this file and put these functions into my user file. Either just replace or append, depending on if I have other functions. So now I have a number of utility functions that are able to deal with uh, VPF date picker. And uh, here is an explanation on how to deal with this, and we are just going to use it ourselves. So now we need to properly learn uh, calendar control and date picker control. Let's start with calendar. I'm doing recording. So uh, the most uh, important thing for me is to hit the control itself. If I learn something here, like a button, 
Uh, what I will get is just this button control. So there are many clickable places and these are atomic elements. So I'm going to move, put my mouse somewhere close to the border in hope that it will uh, catch uh, the control I'm interested in. So I'm hitting control two or I'm just using mouse and hitting in the corner. So as I see the whole control were uh, highlighted and this means the whole control were recognized. I'm just going to rename it to calendar because this is what I meant here and finish. So this is an element I needed, calendar. I may discard the recording because uh, the object itself is all I needed. Now I'm just going to uh, to use the functions. So to use functions, I need to access the functions object built into uh, Arial. And action is one of those functions. In our case, it's calendar set date. I selected it and once I hit tab, it will prepare required parameters for me. The parameter that I actually must enter is uh, ID of the control. In our case, the ID is calendar and it's suggested me in the drop down, so I'm just going to use it. Okay, and now year, month, and day in, in normal format as numbers. So, for example, I want some year like 1978, months like May, which is five, and day like uh 15 okay so uh now it should just set my date like let's see just plain if everything is okay the function the function just should just work and that's it so it selected uh year 78 and uh, month may and date 15 that's it now let's uh uh, uh, do something else. For example, we want to read that date. Again, this is a problem with this control because the whole date is not displayed anywhere. So there is no place that I may just learn and read the date. So uh, what I'm going to do is to uh, do an assertion. Assert and uh, in this assertion, I'm going to compare some output with some value. Output is the result of some action and actually the result of the other functions available in my user file. Okay. And object is functions and function name is calendar get selected date. I need to specify the same object ID calendar. So this should read calendar date I may compare it to something. So I, I'm using not 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 exact comparison. You will see why. Uh, check year is uh, like 51. Let me set it. 1951. 51. Plain again. Okay. So. We are in year 51, and what we see here in assertion, uh, actually the date is re it, it returned is uh, the is uh, something in generic format, and frankly this format depends on the system locale. It's always different. So if you work with with uh, with same locale, you may rely on that date and do exact comparison, like taking this value and using it for comparison but in general if you switch between different systems this may vary so that's why i'm doing this this tricky contains comparison so i'm just checking the the year and to be to have my test to be like really generic okay uh now i'm going to do similar interactions with uh date picker control so I'm going to record a date picker. Uh, 
using the same method. So I'm going to learn it. Click an object to be learned. So you may see if I hover mouse over the text, the text, the text box is highlighted. Here we have a button, it's a bit highlighted. Again, the border is what I need. I'm just going to click somewhere close to the border. Uh, it's enabled to catch it. Okay, so now we just learned the, the, the whole control. So it's important that highlight, catch the whole control. I'm renaming it to date picker, similar to what I did with calendar, finishing, discard and recording, because I already have this object and I, I don't need any actions. And now I might just use it again. Uh, action, functions, uh, VPF, date, so VPF date picker get uh, set date use date picker uh, year is um, like let it be 11 month is 3 date is 28 March 28 that's it and, and again I may the same way I may uh, read the, the value after entering it and verify uh, check uh, year is uh, 11. Uh, here I'm going to type, uh, change the comparison type. It should be output contains something. Here it is. And now output is from the function. Function name is uh, date picker get selected date. Date picker uh, ID. I may just use it from here. And finally, the value to compare. It's 11. 2011. Okay, that's it. Let me let me just close this application and launch it again. So all, all dates are reset to today, and so I will see how how those are modified. Okay, something went wrong. Okay, so it modified both uh, uh, the calendar and date picker. I may see these dates. It's 11 here, it's 51 here, and all assertions are valid. You may also see that date picker, the date format returned from uh, calendar and date returned from date picker have different format. That was I, what, what I was talking about. Anyway, in our case, we were able to set it to what we needed and we were able to read it. So that was the purpose of these functions. So again, what you need, you need to open them, uh, the user's file, read those functions, put into your, uh, copy the, the, the text of those functions, paste it into your user's file, and that's it. So you will be able to interact with VPF controls once those are properly learned. I hope this video is helpful for you and thank you for attention.